Hello, this is Ihab. In this video, I'm going to talk about treating a green screen footage by taking out the green from it by using the effect key light. And then I'm going to talk about exporting that video with alpha channel as a video, not as an image sequence, a video with alpha channel for maybe extra convenience. And lastly, I'm going to talk about two effects that I combine together to fake the shadow of a green screen footage actor. So for instance, this example that I have right now, I would end up needing to have a shadow or maybe the shadow wouldn't come out really nicely. So I might end up having to fake the shadow. So let's get into it. The first thing I'm gonna do is going to the effects and looking for key light. After that, I'm going to pick the kind of average green, not the brightest or the darkest, maybe something kind of like in between here. And then I'm going to change from final result to screen matte. And this is going to allow me to see the silhouette of the actor. So after that, I'm going to go into the screen matte and then I would be able to gently play around and fiddle with these attributes in a way that I would aim to get a clean silhouette from the inside and also without all the background noise around it. And keep in mind that you cannot just take one attribute and be happy about the result it's making because if you push one of them too much, too far, then it starts to affect the actual footage. So typically what you want to do is to go gently bit by bit on each one of those attributes and see how far you can push it and uh, how much of a result you can get out of it. And then every once in a while, I want to go in here and change it back to final result, just so I can see how crazy the result is. And typically, it's pretty difficult to figure out how good the result is. So what I would do is create a new solid, and I would give it like a crazy color. Something that I can easily detect behind the actor and then I would play on loop and see if it's good. So as far as I can see it, it's good until I see the otherwise. So I'm going to assume that this is good for now at least. You can see here some sort of green effects and there are some, uh, like you can see the preset here. It has all of these effects. So this is definitely something to consider. However, if you're beginning with the effects, with a green screen effect, it's really important to go one by one because this is a combination of three effects together. So it's good to uh, go as deeply as possible into the key light effect first. So you would know about these attributes and how far you can push them and all these things. And then you can go with this one. You can erase this one and go with this combination or preset in a way that you have more awareness about what each or at least one of them what what it does so with this in mind now what i want to do is to demonstrate for you what if you want to export this as a video with alpha channel um, also keep in mind that only target in your editing the areas that are close so this is technically speaking this is still something that i would like to have gotten rid of and uh, i would consider that with the other effects but uh, typically, if you have something in here, then that is something that you can treat easily by using garbage mask, which means that just any mask would just tr deal with it because it's not really getting close to the actor. So you don't really care about it. It can be as rough as you want it to be. Meaning that, for instance, here is the footage that I have. And uh, I can simply go here with the path and create some... So this is technically the way I'm making this is kind of close to a garbage mask. Of course, I'm going to go here and invert the effect. So 
so if you have a, a blob of something here that you want to get rid of then this is what you do and finally if you know if if this is the result that you want to have uh, then i would export this as a video with alpha channel so this is just an example of what the garbage mask would be uh, if you have something you know far from the actor especially but in many cases you end up like masking something as close as this to the to the actor it depends on the footage ultimately your goal is to make the best out of the footage that you have so with that said if i want to export this now of course without this so uh, just to be sure i'll just erase it for now and get rid of it because it was only for display purposes to see how the green screen is so now that i'm done so composition so what i want to do now is to click here and then go into quicktime format i'm gonna go with animation hit ok so right now the channels that i have are rgb right typical but if i go here to rgb and alpha it's going to show you here millions of colors plus that plus it means alpha channel so with that i'm going to go ahead okay and then specify the the location of the file i'm going to copy this directory right away so i don't have to bother memorizing where it was then green test okay and then render and now that it's done what i would like to do is to experiment and see if I did it right so here's a new composition control n for a new composition and then create then go here to the project control v to copy the same directory and then green test okay so i'm gonna place this here so i would create a new composition based off of it and now I am going to go into the moment of truth, which is creating a new solid to put it below. And as you can see, this is actually a video that has transparency. All right. So now that this is done, let's talk about the possibility of us taking that footage and you can place it wherever you want in the scene in a way i mean this is pretty much how they do it they record the green screen and then they can shrink it down or scale it up and then place it wherever they can um, or they want so now what i want to do is i'm just going to keep the scale relatively large hit shift so it would lock the ratio and now there are two effects that i want to apply the first one is called drop shadow double click and the problem here is that this is going to override the footage itself so typically what you want to do before you apply the drop shadow is to duplicate this so i'm gonna hit enter and name this original then control D to duplicate and I'm going to call this shadow and then I'm going to apply the I'm gonna hide the original and then select the shadow and then drop the drop shadow on it you'll notice that it's not different but if you go here and click shadow only then this becomes a shadow only so as you can see it's a duplicate of the same footage but in a shadow mode which is great but the problem is we cannot really use this as shadow right like i'll bring in the original footage and uh, it's on top of it and everything but i need something to modify that shadow and what i'm going to show you now doesn't necessarily guarantee a perfect result however it gives you some options so the uh, next one is going to be basic 3d and apply that on the shadow 
So I'm going to hide the original footage and then I'm going to change these basic 3D attributes in a way that gives me something close to what I would want to use. And you can see now it's not great, especially if you zoom in on it. But uh, this is one of the things that in some cases it would be perfect. I mean, it depends really on the footage. And this is fairly simple footage, so you can still see that it's quite limited. Of course, you can fiddle with it and find a way to make it work really well. Lastly, I want to say that there's an effect called corner pin. And the corner pin is going to allow you, I'm going to apply it actually to the original footage. The corner print is going to allow you to actually modify the footage itself from four point perspective. And this is actually exactly the effect that is used in the After Effects engine for the four point tracking. So with that said, I now ruined the footage. Uh, you can take the, f the, uh, the four corners or the corner pin effect and apply it on the shadow in a way that you could have a little bit more flexibility with it. It could work in some cases. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this video.